shalom or praises blessings glories and honors to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim racha kodash double honors to my ella apostles and bishop elders of great millstone who have taught me this truth as well of men of like mind Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the Asilan uh, of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great. And abroad to you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Rataza. This lesson is edifying and informative. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. Verse 25 Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 For when they shall say, peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape ezekiel chapter 7 verse 26 mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor then shall they seek a vision of the prophet but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancients. In the news from the Press TV, UK faces sobering economic outlook, IMF warns. The International Monetary Fund says Britain faces a sobering economic outlook for 2023 as the country experiences a torrid time not a word torrid means hot passionate blistering stifling suffocating time in the coming months in what is going to be the worst cause of living crisis in living memory and I also have an oracle that shows the cost of living here in the US as well. The announced physical plan navigates well the difficult trade off between fighting inflation and protecting household incomes in a recession primarily caused by the exogenous energy price shock. The IMF said in a statement released by the House of Commons Treasury Committee on Thursday, The outlook for the UK economy is sobering, and not just for the UK, but for the entire EU bloc and the rest of the world for 2023. Output is expected to contract and inflation to remain elevated and might have had to rise as well. However, Harriet Baldwin, the conservative lawmaker and Treasury Committee Chair, said she was unhappy that senior IMF officials had so far declined our committee's invitation to testify before her. I'm concerned that the IMF is in an unattainable position offering commentary to journalists but 
not being prepared to follow up the appearances before elect politicians. Experts say the year 2023 will be a year of great economic strides for the UK. And not just for the UK, again, also for the rest of the world. A third of UK citizens will struggle to find extra $20 pound amid economic crisis poll. More than a third of UK citizens would find it difficult or impossible to find an extra $20 pound <laughs> not twenty dollar, it's like a twenty pound our research shows. The inflation rate stands at a forty one year high of eleven point one percent, which is pretty damn high, amid soaring food and energy prices. The government has blamed the war in Ukraine and the C nineteen pandemic as the main culprits in the economic downturn, which the real culprit is all the money that they printed. Because inflation is the general increase in the cost of goods and services due to the expansion of money supply within an economy. Okay. A leading think tank recently said the worst impact of the cost of living crisis in the UK is yet to hit the already struggling Britons, warning that families across the UK have only experienced half of the lost income they are expected to suffer during 2023. The Resolution Foundation think tank as suggested in its newly published survey that the average household across the UK will be left £2,100 worse off by the end of the next physical year. Due to the worsening cost of living crisis, Britons have been staging industrial actions nationwide, seeking a pay raise or pay rise to cope with the soaring inflation, which has risen to about 11%. The wave of strikes, and there have been strikes here in the States as well, and also across certain parts of the globe, because inflation is biting into the livelihoods of people. The wave of strikes has been the biggest over the past decades, with airport baggage handlers, border staff, driving instructors, bus drivers, and postal workers walking off their jobs to demand higher pay because their current pay is not enough to compensate for the current uh, inflation and the rise of inflation. And what is inflation again? When the money pretty much deteriorates in value, so everything becomes much, much more expensive. Nurses and ambulance workers are also locked in an intense dispute with the National Health Service, NHS, as they seek payment rises and better conditions. This concludes the article from the RT. Now, this is from the World WorldPopulationReview.com. The cost of living in the United States. A close look at the national cost of living is needed to better understand costs across states. Straight to the point, the average household in the United States spends $61,334 a year on expenses. On average, 34.9% of spending, or roughly $1,784 a month, is dedicated to housing and housing-related costs. Because everything in the U.S. is expensive, especially depending on the state that you live in, like New York, uh, Florida, California, certain states is dedicated to housing and housing related costs the median price of a single family home in the united states is two hundred and seventy three thousand nine hundred and ninety two dollars nationwide the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment runs one thousand one hundred sixty four dollars a month <laughs> you should see those figures in new york city the average american household dedicates a further 60 percent of spending transportation an average of $9,826 a year. Annual health care costs average another $5,177 annually. Food, including groceries and eating out costs, especially eating out because, you know, these people, they love to eat out, especially the women in these uh, large metros, these large cities, costs another $7,317 a year or $609.75 a month instead of cooking buying groceries and cooking at home they want to eat out 
the average month, that's why they're all bent out of shape and unhealthy. The average monthly cost for utilities in the U.S. is $370.16. Nationwide, the median household income is $67,521 a year, while personal income for individuals is $35,805. The living wage for the United States is $68,808 annually for a family of four. Wow. That's so pretty tough it is as far as the cost of living here has become here in the U.S. States with the lowest cost of living index. Mississippi is one of them. As you can see to that, I'm not going to read it. So the average rent in Mississippi is $777. But nearly 20% of Mississippi residents live in poverty. Mississippi is also consistently ranked one of the worst states to live in. Kansas. The second lowest in the U.S. $862 on average a month for a two-bedroom. Has one of the nation's lowest unemployment rate at 2.5 percent Alabama 807 across the state 50.6 percent of residents live at or below the poverty line one of the highest poverty rates in the country states with the highest cost of living index Hawaii a single family Home average, averaging $730,511. Rent, average at about $1,651 for two bedroom. Groceries also cost 50% 50, 50 more than the na national average, as most goods have to be shipped to the island. Rent in New York City on average is a thousand seven hundred and seventeen for a two bedroom. Well, this is just in New York State, but New York City, a two bedroom unit costs about an average of five thousand eight hundred and seventy four, and now it's a, a lot more. California, 1614 for a two-bedroom. So that pretty much, you know, shows the cost of living here in, you know, the U.S. and certain states from the lowest to the highest. So things will only continue to spiral out of control due to inflation, which will eventually become hyperinflation. And... You know, the days of, of evil will swiftly approach. Now, let's go back to the scriptures and conclude the lesson. Again, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5. Thus save the Lord, Yahweh, and evil. The word evil means bad time. Eve means time. Ill means bad. And only evil, behold, is come. And what is that evil? Jacob's trouble. Okay, when Esau Edom will come down like a madman sparing none because he knows that he had but a short time wasting and destroying because the Lord is going to put the spirit upon them as his weapon stick okay, to punish two-thirds of the nation of Israel during Jacob's trouble but reserve and protect the elect of the nation of Israel which I pray among the elect as well as your brothers and few sisters okay, during the evils of Jacob's trouble. An end has come, the end of Esau's kingdom, it has come. Okay, the end of wickedness, the end has come, it watcheth thee. Behold, it is come. Verse 25, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. So when the Lord brings destruction, or people will attempt to seek peace, but when they're going to be promised peace, <coughs> peace, excuse me, when they're going to be promised peace, this is what the Lord said, First Thessalonians 5, verse 3. 
when they shall say peace and safety. So when these presidents, these governors, these mayors, these local leaders, like Al Sharpton, Farrakhan, Jesse Jackson, so on and so forth, when they're going to promise our people peace and safety, okay, in the days of destruction, then sudden destruction, that's what destruction is going to come upon them suddenly. <laughs> okay? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as you feel upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. And so they won't be able to escape the sudden destruction that the Lord is going to bring upon them during the evils of Jacob's trouble. These are the same people that say that the evils shall not overtake nor prevent them. According to Amos chapter 9 verse 10. But the Lord's got a special surprise for two-thirds of the nation of Israel that are proud. Because the Lord hates pride. He has a proud, he has a proud look. Okay? And this is again back in Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So there is not going to be any peace. But only death, destruction, evil. Okay, verse 26, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Mischief shall come upon mischief. And by the way, let's look at that word mischief. A specific injury or damage attributed to a particular agent. The cause or source of warm evil or irritation so causes or sources of evil of bad times or harm upon mischief okay and rumors upon rumors then they seek a so like, yeah, then shall they seek a vision of the prophet right so when these things come Upon themselves, as it is written here, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. That's what they're going to attempt to find the truth, but they won't be able to. But the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. So, these false prophets whom our people uh, look up to and go to for advice, they won't have the answers. Okay? You're... Creflo Dollar won't have the answer, your T.D. Jakes, your Joel Osteen's, and even your false prophets in Israel, they won't have the answers for you, okay? So, I pray this lesson was edifying, I'll conclude it here. The Lord's willing it was edifying to the elect. Until the next Lord's willing, I say Shalom.